at a certain point, I felt I had to make a decision whether I wanted to see myself as a victim or see myself as a survivor. But uh, for me, I, I really wanted to encompass the joys of life. And um, there's so much joy to be found. The first six years of my life, I had a very happy, carefree childhood. I grew up with my parents, uh, a brother two years older, and my grandparents, my mother's parents, who lived with us in our home. When I was six years old, we left from Berlin to Amsterdam, and we had to leave so much behind. We got adjusted and um, enjoyed living there after a while. The Nazis zeroed in on the Jews and prepared for the, the plan, that is to execute, to get rid of all the Jews. So there was this day in June and so it was very hot and we were marched to a square and then we were loaded on trucks and then the trucks took us to the train station. And at the train station, there was this long, long train because hundreds of people, uh, probably more than a thousand people lived in this neighborhood and they were all arrested. And that's how we were transported from our home um, to a camp. Do you still like fear that something like that could happen again? Yes, I think it could happen again. That's why it's so important never to be a bystander because we all have responsibility to prevent things like this from happening again. There are always the people who are the perpetrators of evil and then there are the victims. But I think the people who are really responsible are the bystanders. According to the Buddhist teachings, everybody has Buddha nature or basic goodness. It doesn't matter who they are. She has definitely um, not only maintained but developed an open heart for all of humanity, compassion for everybody. And it's certainly manifested in her work with Palestinians. I want to welcome everyone here today for this extraordinary occasion of the visit of the, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, having personally experienced foreign occupation and persecution during the Holocaust, I feel a special appreciation for those who have dedicated their lives to end suffering in the world. And thus, it is a very special privilege for me to be here today. In awarding the Wallenberg Medal, we hope to honor all those who have acted heroically, whether famous or anonymous, thereby inspiring us all to act out of courage and conviction. Do I want to be a victim? or do I want to be a survivor? And that's a deliberate choice that everyone can make. And a lot of the, maybe, I don't know, I think of all ages, uh, people have different responses in that regard. And, you know, when you're a victim, then you're powerless, uh, uh, horrible things have been done to you, you can't undo them, um, you, every, the world owes you when you're a victim, you see yourself as a victim, the world owes you and the pain never goes away. 
And when you're a survivor, you have all these options. You, you put it behind you and um, you can enri enrich your life because you've survived it and you will survive other experiences and, and you can embrace, you know, everything that uh, the world has to offer you, beauty and music and art and nature and family and love. So um, I think those are choices. <laughs>